This is great saphenous vein uh, and it is the largest vein of our body and formed by the union of medial marginal vein and medial end of the dorsal venous arch. Uh, it has 15 to 20 valves. Let's see the surface marking of great saphenous vein. First point on the dorsum of the foot at the medial end of the dorsal venous arch. This is dorsal venous arch. Uh, in its medial end will be the first point. Second point on the anterior surface of medial malleolus. Its middle malleolus and its lateral uh, in its anterior surface will be the second point. And third point will be the medial border of tibia. Its medial border of tibia. Tibia lies in medial side of the leg. Uh, so at the junction of upper two third and lower one third of the leg on the medial border of tibia will be the third point. Fourth point at the adductor tubercle. Here lies the adductor tubercle when the thigh is semi flexed, laterally rotated and adducted. Then the adductor tubercle can easily filled. There will be the fourth point and fifth point uh, center of the saphenous opening. The junction of upper two third and lower one third of the thigh. So in the center will be the fifth point. Now add all this point. Great saphenous vein passes through the saphenous opening by piercing the cubriform fascia and finally below the middle of the inguinal ligament it drains into the femoral vein after piercing the femoral sheet. If the valves of this vein become incompetent the vein will be dilated and tortuous and leading to varicose vein and varicose ulcer. Varicose vein is elongated and tortuous and it has larger diameter than normal. So this is the surface marking of great saphenous vein. Now short saphenous vein, uh, it is formed by the lateral marginal vein with the lateral end of the dorsal venous arch and it has 8 to 10 valves. For surface marking, the first point on the dorsum of the foot at the lateral end of the dorsal venous arch. So here is the first point. Second point behind the lateral malleolus. So here will be the second point behind the lateral malleolus. Third point just lateral to the tendocalcaneus above the lateral malleolus. So this is tendocalcaneus in its lateral side and above the lateral malleolus will be the third point and fourth point at the center of the popliteal fossa this is popliteal fossa in its center will be the fourth point now add all this point so it drains into popliteal vein and sometimes it joins with the great saphenous vein by accessory vein. So this is the surface marking of short saphenous vein.